Hi y'all! Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome for those who are new. So today I'm going to do an unboxing for a fossil bag and it's the Camilla backpack which is a convertible backpack. I just got home from work. As you know I've returned to the office and so this was waiting for me and I'm super excited. to share this with y'all. I think some of you may already have this. I know it's been out for a while, but as y'all know, it takes me a long time to figure out if I'm going to get it or not. Let me see. I'm going to also get my receipt out of here. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm going to lift up the camera a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty cool box. I like that. Okay, so... I was debating on getting the black or the... Oh, I can't remember. I'll put it in the screen if I remember the color of the other one that I was considering. Because y'all know that the reason why I didn't get the black Sydney satchel is because the interior is black. But I figured I'd use this a whole lot more and I do actually wear a lot of gray and black so it is a pretty big bag it's the larger version it's not the small there is a small one and I am a big bag girl y'all know this already sorry for the glare y'all I'm using my new ring light and so I know the other video that I had of my flip through of my TN. Some people said it was too bright so I'm new to this ring light. I used to use a regular lamp light so y'all let me know what you think of the lighting. So it looks like it's packaged nicely with uh, really good care. So, I'm going to move the box for now. So it comes with this. Don't forget the details. I guess that's where the receipt is. And it has the fossil logo right here. I'm going to do a more detailed review on this. This is just the unboxing. So as you can see, all of this is wrapped up, which is nice. There's other backpacks that fossil has, but I really like the detail of how this looks, the straps. And it is... A slim line bag but it does have a pretty good depth I like that yeah it looks like it was uh, packaged really well like it took really good care of packaging this and it's the regular cowhide leather so it's not pebbled leather or anything like that it's just standard I do like the side zipper got a pretty big pocket in the back there and these straps can come off and it'll just be a top handle bag and oh and it's got the key is the two bags that I have. They're the uh, Sydney satchels and the Sydney satchels don't have the key. I believe the Rachel does, which I'm still eyeing the Rachel, but I don't know. We'll see. So it has a zipper top. See what I mean? That it's um, <laughs> black interior. Um, I like to be able to see my stuff. So I don't particularly like the black interior, but I really love this backpack. I just, I don't know, I just wanted it in black. I have the 
navy Sydney satchel and they're pretty close in color but I'll I'll get it and I'll show y'all one sec okay so you can barely tell that's black and that's navy <laughs> but if you look inside the Sydney All right, I just took it out of its dust bag. It was in my closet, so. See, the gray interior, I love that. I wanna be able to see my stuff. One thing I can say is that if I wear like jet black clothing, you can definitely, against this bag, you can tell that this is navy. So yeah, let me take this off. Oh, she's pretty. I really like her a lot. Oh my goodness. I'm super happy. I know. <laughs> Y'all always hear that whenever I get a bag. I'm like, I'm super happy. And I know some people, when they get their bags, are like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I am one of those weird ones that I research. Hold on, let me get this off here. I research a bag or anything actually I, just, I research stuff that I want for a really long time and I think about it for a really long time so whenever I actually get it I completely know like hey I want it <laughs> so so yeah she is she's definitely gorgeous It's like, um, let me see. I don't know. The handles are not as thick as the Sydney satchel. Huh. It's thinner. I guess it's made like that because it, like, it's a thin, as far as width, it's thinner. Maybe that's the reason why it feels, because this feels thicker. Yeah, it doesn't, it definitely looks like it's thicker. Okay. Yeah, so they had a really good sale on this bag. I was shocked. And I know Fossil is pretty good about their sales. Even the Sydney satchels, I got them for a really good price too. So, but you have to get them, you know, at a certain time in order to get a really good deal. Yeah, this baby is wrapped up really well. So I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, or I don't know which one I'm going to release first, this one or the other one, but we're actually going to Japan to visit my daughter. So I also wanted a nice sleek backpack to wear so it's easy to carry. I think the last time when she went there for college and... I visited her, I think I wore like a crossbody, I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this off because it's really taped on there. I made a mess <laughs> with all the little scraps of paper. I got everything unwrapped. I have to be very, very careful because as you all know, I have a pup and he will eat up those little scraps of paper and also those little plastic tabs. But she is extremely beautiful. I think I'm going to enjoy her very much. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm going to have more detail on this soon. No feet at the bottom. And she's got the brass hardware. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing and this little comparison of my Sydney satchel. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super excited. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for all my new subs and the ones that have been with me for quite some time. I hope that you're enjoying all these videos. And again, I apologize that it's not as frequent because my schedule has changed. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye, take care.